people live for? I mean, what gets them out of bed in the morning? What gets them excited for the day? <laughs> what about you? What gets you out of bed in the morning? What gets you excited for the day? Now, there's a reason I'm asking these questions. Remember, the creed helps us understand the timeless truth that God has created, redeemed, and called us to be his own. And so far, the second article has helped us understand who Jesus is and what he has done and continues to do for us. But the second article also helps us understand how we are to live under Jesus' rule. What does it mean to live under Jesus and for Jesus? Think about these things as we look to the second article one more time. And it goes like this. And I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. What does this mean? That I may be his own and live under him in his kingdom and serve him in everlasting righteousness, innocence, and blessedness just as he is risen from the dead, lives and reigns to all eternity. This is most certainly true. You see, it's just so easy to think of Jesus as being far away or out there, or Jesus as just being someone who lived a long time ago, right? But Jesus is alive right now. He's still true God and true man in a perfected human body. He's sitting at the right hand of the throne of his father right now. And he is king of his church. And who makes up his church? <laughs> That's you. And he still gives his good gifts to you. He gives you his body and blood in the sacrament of the altar. He gives you absolution for your sins through your pastor. He has sent the Holy Spirit who works faith in you through his word. He is your king, real and now. We live in a world that's hindered and corrupted by sin, by death, by the devil. But our king who rules over his people will one day return in glory and death will be no more. Temptations to sin will be no more and the devil will be banished from this creation forever. And until then, we live under our gracious King, Jesus Christ. He has redeemed you, and you are his. As you prepare for this lesson, consider these things. What gets you most excited about life? Does knowing that Jesus has redeemed you to be your King get you excited? Why or why not? Because Jesus is your King and you are his, how can you show your appreciation for his forgiveness in a special way this week? That's it for now. Blessings on your preparation, and we'll see you next time.